Hi, this is Pam from the Birch Cottage blog. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to sew a rope basket using cotton clothesline rope. You'll also need some matching thread and maybe some scotch tape. In addition to your sewing machine, you'll need your zigzag foot if you have one, some pins, and scissors. The first thing you'll want to do is to unwind or uncoil your rope. Just find the loose end pull it from the rope, and I find it easiest to sew these baskets with the rope completely unwound, and then I just drop it into a basket that's on the floor to the right of me. The next thing that you'll want to do is to cut the end of the rope at an angle. My rope came with some tape on it, so I'm just going to cut that off, and then I'm going to cut it at an angle. And if you want to help prevent the rope from fraying you could put a little piece of tape around the end of the rope but that's completely optional and up to you so I just wrap the tape tightly around the end squeeze it on there real well and then I'm going to trim off the excess and again I'll cut it at an angle that will allow me to coil the center of the rope tighter So I'll press that tape up against the rope really well to make sure it's nice and adhered to the rope. And then, like I said, I'm just going to trim it off at an angle as well and trim off any excess tape off the tip. So here's my cut at an angle and I'm gonna trim off that little piece of tape at the end there. All right, now I'm ready to start curling or coiling that rope. I'm going to take the part that I just trimmed off at an angle and roll it towards the center. I'm going to roll it three or four times around itself and then take some pins to hold it all together. And then I'll take that over to the sewing machine and I'm going to kind of zigzag an X across that small coiled part of the rope just to hold it together. So make sure your sewing machine is set to a zigzag stitch. On my machine, it's stitch number 13. <clears throat> Put the small piece of coil that you have underneath your presser foot and stitch straight across. Be sure to remove your pens as you do because you don't want to break your needle. And then rotate it around and zigzag stitch uh, the opposite direction. <clears throat> Once you have that done, you're going to zigzag stitch and use your fingers. Do not raise the rope up, but keep the rope completely flat against the bed of your sewing machine. And just turn it and turn it and rotate it with your left hand and guide the rope from with the right hand. Now, I took mine, once I got it to an appropriate size, over to my embroidery machine and embroidered design on the bottom of the basket. And now I want to create the sides of my basket. And all I do is put my hands under the rope and lift up on it. The more you lift, the sharper the angle the sides will be. So lift with your left hand and continue to guide the rope with your right hand, zigzag stitch all the way around until you have the bowl sides as tall as you want. Now I'm going to put handles on my bowl. So I'm going to find the center of each side, put some pins in there to mark the center. And then I did it one and a half inch from the center. So a three inch handle is what I'm going to put on these baskets. So I marked an inch and a half to the left of center and an inch and a half to the right of center on each side of my basket. I'll zigzag stitch until I reach the first pin. And then I will create some slack in my rope for the handle. I'll pin that in place just to keep it from slipping. And I want to measure this so I make sure that I have the same size handle on the other side, the same amount of slack. So 
So I did about three and a half inch there. Again, pin that in place. And I'm just going to continue to zigzag across. You can zigzag across the bowl itself or zigzag across the handle, but you don't want to attach the two at this point until you get over to your pin where your handle will again attach to the side of the bowl. Mine just came undone, so I'm redoing it here. Sorry, my head keeps getting in the way. I thought I had the camera at a good angle. I apologize for that. Now, once I've reached the other side, I need to finish it off. Again, I will trim it at an angle and I'll pin that in place against the side of the bowl and just zigzag stitch. Now for my handles, I did the rope two times around the handle. So the handles themselves were two thicknesses of the rope. And there we have my finished rope basket. You can make these as wide as tall, uh, oval, you can make them in many shapes. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. If you found this helpful, please be sure to like it below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll know when new craft ideas are available. And be sure to visit me over on the Birch Cottage blog and subscribe to my newsletter. Thank you so much.